back to another cooking vlog. Today is a really, really simple, easy recipe that you can whip together in less than like five minutes, honestly. It's literally so easy to make. The Brunswick salmon, that's the one that comes in the tin. There is also the red rose one as well. Either one works perfect for this dish. Fry salmon with tomatoes and it's delicious and it tastes really really good so hopefully you guys can try it and let me know. If you already had this then you know what's up. It's canned salmon and there is the red rose one. This one is Brunswick. Either one will be fine and sometimes not all the time I have time to like bust down a big pot and cook something really fancy. Sometimes I just you know need to cook something just to eat and Dean and I love this because this tastes really really good. Pour my salmon into my little bowl here. Salmon is already salty because of the brine that it's been sitting in so however if you're using salt you want to make sure and taste as you go along because the brine in the salmon is very very salty. Water that comes in the salmon what I usually do is toss away some of it like three quarter of it but i leave a little little bit in there just so it can cook just so i wouldn't have to add additional water to it so you can do that however you don't have to throw away the water you can keep the water it's fine i just keep a very little bit i'm also serving this with fry bake but i am making rice for me to eat this now and then later on in the evening i'll make some fry bake to go with this and let me tell you this is gonna be so delicious so let's get to the chopping you're gonna need two tomatoes to one can of salmon and if you like more tomatoes you can obviously add more i just add two just to give it a little more color and a little more body i'm not going to use all this pepper i'm probably going to use half depending on how hot it is i have some onion i'm just using red onion that's what i have on hand um I'm also going to add some fine thyme as well, some salt, again this has the salmon has salt so you want to be cautious when you're adding salt. I'm also going to be adding some of this adobo lemon and pepper um, or pepper seasoning. Again I'm adding very very little bit of this because there is salt in that. Um, black pepper, I'm just adding some roasted pimentos only because I don't have actual pimentos on hand and plus this is really good too it gives it a nice flavor and my good old fresh green seasoning that as you guys can see i am clearly out of i need to make some more but in this green seasoning i have garlic um shadow benny aka culantro and pimentos Okay, so I'm gonna put up my pot to hot right now and I'm just going to add some olive oil into this. You can use regular oil if you, if you wish. Add a little bit of olive oil. That's about two tablespoons of olive oil that I've added. The olive oil, I'm going to add in my onions as well as my tomatoes. Just gonna add in my onions. onions cook down a bit and once it's cooked down and softened I'm going to add in my tomatoes but to the onion I'm going to also add in some green seasoning So once the salmon is added to the tomatoes, you just 
wanna go ahead and season everything again go light with the salt i'm adding some black pepper then i'm gonna go in with some fresh green seasoning as well as some adobo very very light and that's it you basically turn your heat up to medium high make sure and cover with a lid and let it you know do its own thing cook in its juices release all those delicious flavors and check back in a few minutes time and yeah So at this point, you want to make sure that it's dry down because if you leave it like this, what will happen, the liquid on top will just rise to the surface when, it, when it's cool and it will look kind of watery. So you want to dry this down to your desired consistency if you like it dry dry or if you like it alone, you know, with a little sauce. I prefer mine with a little bit of sauce, but I'm gonna dry this down, not too too dry, just with the right amount of sauce so it wouldn't be like too dry. And the last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna taste it with salt, and I'm gonna add a piece of golden ring right, and cut it off. So I just added a piece of golden ray into this and it's drying down nicely so I'm gonna take it off the heat I'm gonna cut off the stove so it dried down nicely so I just took off the heat because I don't want it to dry up too much so what I like to do when it's finished just grate some fresh bandana or shadow benny however you want to call it onto it Guys, that's it. This is your salmon. I just grated some shadow benny onto it, but that is going to taste really, really delicious with rice or fry bake or sada roti or bread even. So yeah. So guys, that's it for this quick little recipe. What I did wanted to mention, if you don't want to do it like this, you can also curry it. Add a little hint of curry when you are frying up your onions and your seasoning and stuff. You just throw in the curry there, let it fry up, and then toss in the salmon. Not much curry. You can do like a teaspoon for a can of um, salmon and it will be really really delicious as well my mother-in-law makes makes a curry and it tastes really good and she also add a potato to it so if you like you can you know add your curry with the onions and garlic on your seasoning fry it up throw in your potato let your potato cook a bit and then toss in the salmon remember the salmon is already cooked so you definitely want to add that in last if you're use if you're doing the curry we and adding potato you want to make sure that your potato is fully well cooked before you add in your salmon and that's it i personally like to grate some shadow benny as you guys see in the end and just leave it there and i don't know i like to i like the taste of shadow benny in anything so it just gives it a like a little extra you know love also the golden ray butter is optional to add the, a piece of golden ray butter because that's how my mom makes it and she makes literally the best salmon ever like mine still kind of come out as good as hers so that's it for today's video i am going to need my flour for my fry bake <laughs> and boil my rice and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye you